Guys, I'm super excited to bring you the latest 2025 Ram 1500 truck lineup. It's been a while. I couldn't wait to get hands-on with these two trucks. Actually, I'm gonna show you not just two trucks, but four, because here we have the new Ram Ram Charger, the Ram Rev All Electric, the new Ram 1500 Tungsten, which is the luxury truck, and the new 2025 Ram 1500 Rebel. So this is a world debut. This is it. These are the latest Ram light duty trucks. So let's start with the Rebel because this is kind of where my heart would be. Uh, Off-roading trucks that can do a lot of work. The Ram Rebel, of course, came out many, many years ago uh, in about around 2015 and it was refreshed and updated. The all new Ram Rebel came out in 2018 as a 2019 truck and we used to own one at TFL. And now this is the update. The big news of course is under the hood, some of the styling and technology changes. So let's dive in. Uh, well, where should we start? Let's start with the grill. So the front end is a little bit different from before. The headlights are a little bit more squinty, a little bit more narrow. And let me turn on the headlight for you so you could see a little bit better about what's going on here. Uh, but you can kind of still see it's totally a Ram 1500. No matter if you're looking at it from far away, from up close, um, it's very, very familiar. They didn't change a lot of it. And I think for good reason. Um, over here, you have a steel bumper, gigantic bumper, of course, fog lamps big recovery hooks and the large grill uh, and also radar sensors and parking sensors throughout there's a parking sensor right here so why have such a big grill well it's for the engine let me open the hood for you first and then we can dive a little bit deeper into the powertrain so if i'm popping the hood by the way really cool design with these kind of vents and styling. They're calling it the SST. Straight six turbo. Um, yes, the V8 Hemi is no more for 2025 and beyond. And this is the new power plant that replaces it. It's a three liter straight six. And let's actually walk over here really quick because we have a naked chassis of the truck and the engine shown in all detail. This is pretty awesome. So I believe, judging by this cover, this is the high output version of it. So there's gonna be two, version of the, two versions of the straight six turbo. There's gonna be a standard one, you just saw underneath the hood of the Rebel. There's gonna be a high output version as well. Some of the parts are the same, but a lot of parts are very different because the high output engine produces way more power. So you could kind of see two turbochargers, twin turbo, so one is down here, the other one is up here. They're relatively small and three cylinders are feeding one turbocharger and three cylinders are feeding the other. And according to a chief engineer that I spoke with about three months ago, this is a perfect orientation where three cylinders are feeding each turbocharger for maximum energy recovery as you're using that exhaust gas to pump more air into the engine as well. The high output version of the engine will be rated at 540 horsepower and 521 pound-feet of torque, which is a ton of power out of a small displacement, relatively small displacement engine. But according to the chief engineer also, they tested this engine to the latest durability standards of a pickup truck. So this is not a car engine that they're just taking out of a passenger vehicle and putting into a pickup truck. Uh, it went through their full battery of tests. Here you can also see the transmission. It's an eight speed. The transfer case for the four wheel drive system with the drive shaft going forward. Uh, I think this is a cooler for the transmission. This is kind of cool to see it uh, actually separate from this uh, radiator stack up front, but don't quote me on this. I don't have all the latest details. The frame is about the same. So if you look at the frame underpinning these new trucks, it was already a great design to begin with when 2019 generation came out. Fully boxed, really strong. 
they have little isolators here that kind of eliminate some vibrations coming through the frame. So these trucks have been very comfortable, very nice, and they continue to be so with this design because the frame is largely the same. Uh, fuel tank here, of course, dual exhaust system. You can see true duals coming through the entire way into the big muffler and into the smaller resonators out the back and coil sprung multi-link suspension, or it can also be air springs like this. Air, su air suspension has been on the truck for quite many years, so this is nothing new. And you can see the dual tips on the exhaust system. Right here, a lot of people were asking us, what is this? Well, this is part of the air suspension system, additional um, reservoirs for the air. So you can jack the truck up and down and also provide that comfortable ride. So let's get back to the Rebel really quick. The standard output engine is rated at 420 horsepower and 469 pound-feet of torque. So not quite, you know, the 540 horsepower that you saw there in the high output version, but this is still a lot of power. It's, what, about 25 more horsepower than the older 5.7 Hemi. It's way more torque, uh, about, what, 55 or 59 uh, pound-feet of torque more. It's also more than a lot of the EcoBoost engines in the Ford F-150, um, as far as horsepower is concerned, because the EcoBoost, the standard EcoBoost 3.5 is about 400 horsepower right now. And this is 420. So I think Ram is kind of trying to slot this engine in uh, into the comp competitive market. And I think it could do really well, especially since they're targeting slightly better efficiency than the outgoing V8. The 3.6 Pentastar will still be there in this truck. It's going to be a base engine, but of course the Rebel will have um, at least, you know, this standard output engine. And later on, the RHO will be coming, but the RHO is not here at this event yet. The Rebel maintains its suspension and off-road cred with uh, the stars, basically 33s, Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax. And this Rebel is riding on air. This is a pretty, pretty loaded truck. Maybe with an exception of some leather, leather seats, but take a look inside. As you can see, these Rebel seats are as cool as always, but not full leather. But the technology in this truck has been upgraded. You can get this larger than ever, 14.5 inch central display, which is really high resolution and has, of course, the latest Uconnect 5 system. And as you can see here, the um, trailer brake controller emergency switch is here, really well at hand. You can back up a trailer using this button, this little knob, and you can adjust gain down or up on the trailer brake controller here. So partially physical controls and partially digital controls. Of course, your transmission shifter is here. This is nothing new. Rear axle lock on the Rebel. And the center console is just about the same as ever. Uh, this is a premium Rebel, so it has an additional screen right here. From my standpoint, this basically looks black because it has a filter. So the passenger can enjoy some sort of entertainment without disturbing the driver. There's a filter. I cannot really see what they're doing. Uh, but that's just for the passenger right there. So additional technologies are here. Of course, panoramic sunroof is available and rear camera mirror, as you can tell right here, right there is also available. Pricing is not finalized yet. I'll tell you about some of the prices that some dealers published already at the end of this video. So now let's jump into the tungsten truck and then move forward. Of course, you've seen the Ram 1500 limited luxury trucks, but for 2025, there's the next level of luxury in a truck, which is this tungsten edition. You can kind of see a different front fascia, different headlamps, different treatment. Um, and the, really the body just kind of flows into the bumper. So in my opinion, it looks a little bit more like a big SUV 
just at least when you're looking at this view of it, rather than uh, more of a truck like the 1500 Rebel that I just showed you. Also, of course, 22s, high output engine under the hood, but the big story is inside. Let's jump in. Wow. So I knew, of course, that Ram and Stellantis are really great at interior design, but, and I didn't think it was possible to upscale it further, but they did. You can kind of see all the latest design on the seat. Of course, this is tungsten. This is heated, ventilated. There's a massage feature. The center console feels really, really great. There is a special VIN plate right here. Here's the screen, similar size and similar features that I just showed you in that Ram 1500 new Rebel, but all of the materials have been upscaled. You can see even the headliner, visors, everything feels premium. And then look up here. So this has the latest Klipsch uh, stereo system. It's super, super powerful. There's speakers everywhere, including the headliner, Behind me in the back seat, I'll show you a little bit more. Uh, there's a heads up display. There is also self-driving level two system that will help me stay in my lane. And of course, adaptive cruise control systems are available here. And the steering wheel feels really, really great. Uh, let me show you the rear seat right now. Yeah, this is sweet. By the way, of course, legroom is no issue, it's like a limousine. And you can recline this as before. This is one of my favorite features of the Ram. Really easy to do, it's a manual operation. Of course, there's more speakers, as you can see on the back of the seat, clips. And just look at the attention to detail. Everything is just, I mean, there's nowhere that they kind of skimped. I mean, I don't see anything like that. Center console large storage right here in the center and of course some controls here with plenty of charging usb-c usb uh, ventilated seats heated seats this is the truck that is really like a luxury limousine really and according to some dealers and according to some stories that have leaked unofficial pricing the new ram 1500 tungsten will start around eighty nine thousand dollars Yes, I said $89,000, still high output power, 540 horse. And with a couple of additional features or accessories, you could drive that price towards what, 95 grand for a half ton. So this is real true premium luxury territory. Now let's just go to the back. I'll show you one more change. These new trucks also have lots of features for towing, um, there's additional ports here for camera systems. You could also hook up on your trailer. Of course, standard seven pin connector here, standard four pin connector here, two inch receiver. According to Ram, in the correct configuration, these trucks will tow up to 11,580 pounds uh, or have a payload maximum of 2,300 pounds. Of course, I'm not talking about this luxury truck. It's just, for a base Ram 1500 Tradesman. So you have to be very careful which, about which truck you're selecting, which truck you're buying to, to, as to how much payload and how much capability it will have. Of course, this has a five and a half foot bed, latest headlamp, um, tail lamp designs on all of these trucks and features you maybe are used to from other Rams, including the Ram box. And once again, pricing has not been finalized, but according to the information I have from Ram dealers and also some other stories published online, the starting price for a crew cab V6 powered, so base engine tradesman Ram 1500 is gonna be somewhere around 42,300 bucks. That sounds like a lot of money, but if you compare it to some of the competition, like the 2024 Ford F-150 crew cab two-wheel drive, that one starts at about $43,500, but that one has a V8. So I think pricing is still quite competitive. We'll have to wait a little bit and see about the final pricing that Rem releases. 
I cannot wait to drive these trucks. All right, so now you saw the gasoline powered trucks for 2025, but there are actually a couple more that are coming in the very near future. Here on my left is the new Ram 1500 Rev. And I actually did a full walk around of this truck several months ago at the New York Auto Show. So check out either oldtfl.com or tfltruck.com for all the latest on the Ram Rev. It's quite powerful, 654 horsepower from dual motors and up to 500 miles of range. Yes, huge battery, but there's something else. Um, this truck, I wanna do a full video just by itself because this is the new Ram 1500 Ram Charger, which is an electric truck, but it has a range extending system, uh, which is the V6 Star that's sitting under the hood for a maximum range of 690 miles. So come check us out at TFL EV channel as well, or oldtfl.com. I wanna show you around this truck in more detail. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.